Hi, my name is Kyle Morrison. I'm an FNP student with Valdosta State University. Um, this is my wife, Carly. She'll be my patient uh, coming in for just a general uh, annual physical exam. Uh, do you give permission to be a part of this video? Yes, I have consent. Okay, good. So first we're going to start with um, the subjective. Um, so chief complaint, why are you here? Um, just a physical. Yep. Uh, then we're going to do history of present illness. In this case, there is none since it's a physical, um, but it would be onset, location, duration, uh, characteristics, aggravating factors, relieving factors, and treatments. Um, so now we're going to move on to the different um, aspects of history. Um, so, uh, first, medical history. Any childhood illnesses? No. Any adult illnesses? Preeclampsia. Preeclampsia. Uh, are you current on your immunizations? Yes. Okay. Uh, have you had any operations? No. Okay. Uh, any allergies? No. Do you currently take any medications? Uh, birth control and prenatal vitamins. Okay. Uh, social history? Do you uh, smoke? No. Do you drink? No. Do you use drugs? No. Okay. Do you, um, what's your occupation? Stay at home mom. Okay. What's your educational level? Uh, master's degree. Okay. Have you traveled outside the U.S. in the past 21 days? No. Okay. Um, let's see. Now, uh, family history. Tell me about your paternal or your father. Um, age, uh, any uh, diagnoses, and if he's still living. I have high blood pressure. Um, he's 58, and he's still living. Okay. And your mom? Uh, COPD, um, he's 56, and she's still living. Okay. What about your maternal grandfather? Uh, not living. Don't really know. Okay. And uh, maternal grandmother? Um, obese and not living. Okay. Uh, what about your uh, father's mother? Um, she had she died from complications of a stroke at 86. Mm -hmm. And what about the grandfather? Um, he died at like 88 from cancer. What type of cancer? Colon cancer. Okay. All right. Um, now, review of systems. So, have you had any headaches? No. Have you had any drainage from the eyes? Any burning of the eyes? No. Any drainage from the nose? No. Any sore throats? No. Okay. Any changes in hearing? Um, any respiratory issues such as difficulty breathing, um, difficulty breathing when you're exercising, any, um, wheezing, coughing, no. okay, any palpitations of the heart where your heart skips a beat, no. okay, any, um, um, uh, edema, of the lower extremities? No. Okay, no swelling anywhere. Okay. Um, any joint pain? No. Um, any difficulty urinating? No. Any burning upon urination? No. Are bowel movements regular? Yes. Okay. Uh, any loss of appetite? No. Any changes in weight? No. Okay. Any uh, excessive thirst? No. Okay. Um, that covered. Oh, neurological. Do you have um, dizziness? Any fainting episodes? Any tingling sensations? No. Okay. Uh, so now that we've done the subjective, we're going to do the objective portion. We're going to first start off with the head. Uh, the head is normocephalic and atraumatic, no evidence of bumps, scars, or scars or lesions. Um, then we're going to inspect the face. For the face, let me see you raise your eyebrows. Lower, okay, smile, frown, puff out your cheeks, good. 
So cranial nerve seven is intact. Um, next, we're going to palpate the TMJ. Go ahead, open. Yep. So slight pop popping and crackling noted. Then we're going to palpate the sinuses, the frontal, any tenderness, yeah. the eth ethmoid, Let's see, sphenoid, yeah. maxillary. Yeah. Okay. Um, then we're going to test sensation, cranial nerve 5. We're going to do soft and sharp. So if you would close your eyes, this is sharp, this is soft. Okay? Tell me which is which. Sharp, soft, soft, sharp, soft, sharp, sharp, soft. Good. Cranial nerve 5 is intact. Next, we're going to assess the neck. The neck, uh, we're going to um, look at the trachea, make sure it's symmetrical and midline, and it is. We're also going to palpate the lymph nodes, so preauricular, right here, postauricular, submental, or I'm sorry, sub uh, maxillary, submental, got superficial cervical chain, deep cervical chain, supraclavicular. Oops, sorry, I really should check like this. Okay, so no tenderness, no swelling noted. Next, we're going to palpate the carotids. Plus two equal bilaterally. We're going to listen for brewies. No breweries noted. Okay. Shrug your shoulders for me. Good. Turn your head. Good. Turn your head. Good. Okay. That takes care of the neck. Um, now we're going to assess the ears. I'm sorry. Actually, I want to start off with the nose. Mucous membranes are moist and pink, no signs of trauma or deviated septum. Um, mucous membranes moist and pink. So that takes care of the nose. Let's do a smell test for cranial nerve one. Tell me what this scent is. So cranial nerve one's intact. Now let's assess the ears. So first we'll do the test. So turn this way, occlude your right ear. I'm gonna whisper a word and repeat it back to me. Good, turn the other way. Good, okay. It's a whisper test, cranial nerve eight. Um, now we're going to do the Weber test. I'm going to strike the tuning fork, place it in the middle of your head. Tell me if you hear it uh, in both ears the same or which ear it's louder in. The same. Good. So negative Weber's test. Now I'm going to strike the tuning fork, place it on your mastoid process and you will tell me when you can no longer hear the sound and then I'll move it in front of your ear and I need you to tell me when you can no longer hear the sound.
Good. So air conduction was twice as long as bone conduction, which is normal. Now let's test the other side. So again, air conduction was twice as long as bone conduction, which is normal. So Renee is negative. Now we're going to take a look inside the ears. Okay, any tenderness no. of the or auricle, the pinna, or the tragus? No. Okay. Take a look inside, pulling up and back. Tympanic membrane is pearly gray, cone of light in the seven o'clock position. Slight cerumen buildup. Tympanic membrane is in neutral position, no arrhythmia, no within the ear canal. Okay, let's check the other ear. Okay, any tenderness of the auricle, the tragus, or the pinna? No. Okay. All right, tympanic membrane is pearly, sorry, pearly gray, cone of light in the five o'clock position. No arrhythmia no within the ear canal. Okay, so the membrane's in neutral position. All right, so that takes care of the ears. Now let's start off with the eyes. So for the eyes, I need you to hold this 36 centimeters from your face and read from the top down with both eyes with no corrective lenses. Nine, five, eight, seven, four. Two eight four three six three eight eight seven four five six three nine two five four two eight three six five three seven four two five eight nine three seven eight two six four two six seven three nine. Okay, so OU both eyes is twenty twenty. Now if you would cover your right eye. And so left eye, uh, go ahead and do the same, which is uh, OS. Nine five eight seven four two eight four three six three eight eight seven four five six three nine two five four two eight three six five three seven four two five eight nine three seven eight two six four two six seven three nine. Okay, twenty twenty uh, for OS now OD switch. Read off. Nine five eight seven four two eight four three. Six three eight eight seven four five six three nine two five four two eight three six five three seven four two five eight nine three seven eight two six and I can't read that. Okay. So that will be twenty twenty five vision. Okay. Now your mouth, if you would open wide, move your tongue side to side, okay, up and down. Can you look up a little bit for me? Sorry, I'm going to continue with the eyes, but if you're yawning, remind me of the mouth. Open. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay. Uvula is midline. Rises symmetrically. Tonsils are within the fillers, so plus one. Dentition's intact, mucous membranes are moist and pink. Okay, now look at my nose. Okay. Pupils are equal, round, reactive to light, with accommodation. Okay, gonna look at your cranial nerve too. Directly look inside. Okay. 
optic disc. It's nice and well marginated. No signs of AV nicking or neovascularization. Let's check the other side. Very same. Optic disc is well marginated. No signs of AV nicking. No signs of neovascularization. Okay, good. Now, if you would, follow my finger for the six cardinal fields of gaze. No nystagmus noted. Patient able to follow command. Okay. Good. Okay. Now, uh, peripheral vision, if you would, tell me when you can no longer see my fingers. Keep looking at my nose. Okay. Can no longer see them. Good. Can no longer see them. Good. Can no longer see them. Good. Okay. Uh, let's see, sclera is uh, white. Conjunctiva is clear. Um, eyebrows, uh, even distribution, as well as the lashes. Uh, now we're going to move on to the anterior chest. Anterior chest, um, we're going to look, see if there's any use of accessory muscles while breathing, which there isn't. Next, we're going to look um, for tactile fremitus. So if you would, say 99. 99. Good. 99. Good. Good. 99. Good. Okay. So palpated tactile fremitus. Now we're going to percuss for resonance. Okay, resonance noted, equal bilaterally. Now we're going to auscultate the lung sounds. Take a deep breath each time. Okay, good. Lungs are clear to auscultation. Now we're going to listen for the heart sounds. So first is the second intercostal space, right sternal border aortic, S1, S2 noted, pulmonic, Second intercostal space, left sternal border, S1, S2 noted, herbs point, third intercostal space, left sternal border, tricuspid, fourth intercostal space, left sternal border, S1, S2 noted, fifth intercostal space, Midclavicular line for mitral. S1, S2 noted. Good. Now let's do posterior chest or the back. Okay. So again, we're going to look for any accessory muscle use. We're also going to do res respiratory expansion. So go ahead and take a deep breath. Okay, so symmetrical rise of my hands, 
Now we're going to palpate for tactile fermentis. Say 99. 99. Good. 99. Good. 99. Good. That was equal bilaterally. Okay. Uh, now we're going to percuss in the same manner we did in the front. Percussing for resonance. Okay, good. Resonance noted. Now let's listen to the lung fields. Take deep breaths. Okay, lungs clear to auscultation. Now if you would, go ahead and lay back. We're gonna focus our attention on the abdomen. Okay, so if you would, first look over to your left. I'm going to be measuring JVP. So I'm going to find the supraclavicular or suprasternal notch right here. Okay, maximum impulse. It's right here. So we're at 3.5 centimeters, which is within normal limits. Okay, now we're going to inspect the abdomen. The abdomen is flat, uh, contour, um, no obvious signs of pulsations, no obvious distress. Um, now we're going to auscultate all four quadrants. Bowel sounds are normal active. Then let's listen to the abdominal aorta or bruise. None noted. Now renal. And iliac. None of the arteries have bruise. Okay. Now I'm going to percuss or timpani. Timpani noted. Dullness noted over the liver. Got to do a liver scratch test. Stethoscope right beneath the xiphoid process. Liver span is approximately seven. Um, 
And now we're going to do light palpation. Any tenderness? Okay. No obvious signs of masses or abnormalities. Now we're going to do deep. Okay. No tenderness. No masses noted. Liver is palpable. Okay. That takes care of the abdomen. If you would go ahead and take a seat again. Okay. So we're going to test your reflexes now. If you would just relax. Good. Relax, relax. Good. Good. Okay, patellar, sorry, um, tricep, bicep, tendons, now patellar. Let's scoot back a little bit more. Good. Good. Plus two, plus two for all. Now let's check the Achilles. You can relax. Good. Good. Okay. Takes care of all your tendons. Now let's look at your extremities. If you would grab my fingers. Pull. Okay, push. Good. Same with the feet. Pull, push, good. Let's see, skin is warm, dry, and intact. Capillary refill, less than three seconds. Less than three seconds is upper and lower extremities. Now, for range of motion, exercises, if you would, um, go side to side. Okay. Now rotate. Good. Now flex. Extend. Good. Okay. Now flex. Extend. Good. Abduct. Abduct. Good. Adduct. Good. Okay. Now spine. Bend down. Good. Bend backwards. Not your whole body, your back. Good. Okay. Now ro rotate. Good. Okay. Now stand up. Okay. Knee to chest. Good. Knee to chest. Good. Let's see, now we're going to extend, extend, good, and back, good, back, good. Okay, we're going to adduct, adduct, okay, abduct, and abduct, good. Okay, Let's see, so while we're standing, we're going to go ahead and do um, cerebellar test. So first we're going to do the Romberg where you'll close your eyes. Go ahead, close your eyes, hold your hands straight out front, noticing if the patient's wavering, which she is not. So we have a negative Romberg test. Now um, we're going to do tandem walking. So walk heel to toe, heel to toe, three paces, and then walk back three paces. Okay, good. Now we're going to do a couple sensory tests. Close your eyes. Hold out both hands. Okay. Tell me what object that is. Circle and wave. Good. Okay. Tell me what this object is. Um, what would a circle on the end? Speak louder. A hammer or something. 
circle of the wood. Pile. Okay, good. All right. Good. You relax. Um, now, if you would, close your eyes. Okay, tell me if your left arm is up or down. Up. Okay, tell me if your arm is up or down. Up. It's down. Here, I'll try again. <laughs> okay. okay, tell me if it's up or down. Down. Good. Okay, so that takes care of that. And we have one final test. Yep. We're going to test your gag reflex. Uh, cranial nerves 9, 10, and 12. So if you would open wide. <laughs> Gag reflex is intact. What flavor was that? Mm, grape. Good. Okay. So that concludes um, the objective portion of the physical exam as well. So... Thank you, and that's it.